we move on to computational estimation and starting to think about um, what is the purpose of estimating right and how do we estimate and what are the processes of estimation and the ones we talk about in, the, in this class or want you to think about are kind of two of them where you have this guesstimate right the number of beans in a jar may be estimated using no mathematics just using a guesstimate you may also um, want to estimate how long a trip will be based on experience right computational estimation is the process of finding an approximate answer to an, uh, an estimate to a computation right often using mental math uh, and so estimation becomes an important skill because we let calculators do a lot of the heavy lifting meaning that they do the computations for us our estimates are important that we want to make sure that we've entered numbers in correctly into a calculator to a computer uh, so we have some sense of, of what the value is, like buying a car, buying a house, making big purchases, right? We want to have some sense that the the answers we're being given are, are reasonable. And that's what uh, estimating um, will do for us. The first type of estimation we look at is called range estimation, okay? And that's where you give a value, a low value and a high value, Here's an example done for you already in terms of um, finding a low estimate for this answer and a high estimate, and that's using leading digits, not worrying about the tens and ones place and just estimate. So you can see you get a low estimate and a high estimate. It's a range from here to here, or another word we use is interval estimate. And again, just like on uh, mental math strategies, there are tons of strategies for estimating, and it's not about having to memorize them, but it's about understanding how they work. And see so all these different methods, one column front end estimation, two column front end. So they should make some sense front end with adjustment, okay? So you have these these uh, processes, and I have the answers over here to the solutions here, so you can see them. Let's get them in a little closer. There we go. So you can see some answers here as how we go about estimating. But again, you could technically estimate any way you want. There are multiple methods, and you may even have your own method. But these are just some more specific ones. 503 times 813. Right, just use the front one column front end. So just use the five and the eight to produce your your estimate. And there's your four hundred thousand range estimation. That's what we did in the example above. Right, do the um, twelve times three. Right, you could do that, and then you can also then do twelve times uh, four, twelve times thirty, and twelve times forty to get some estimate. You could use thirteen times thirty, thirteen times forty. There's so many different ways to think about that to get your range estimate. Um, two column front end, so we're going to use forty three and eighteen. So forty three hundred minus eighteen hundred would be a way to do it. Some people may forty four hundred minus nineteen hundred to get an estimate. Again, it's your preference there front end adjustment and so in this case notice um, we turn this to 3000 and then turn this to um, to a thousand and then you get 4000 you want to estimate but again estimating is uh, many processes you can use just be mindful of of your methods that are make sense to you